Okay, so today I just connected two 48 gigabit eARC HDMI cables to the back of the Denon uh, AVR2700H and I'm only using a PC with an NVIDIA card that's an RTX 2060 with 8 gig, 8 gig of video RAM and on the other port on the outside there the yellow one move the flashlight down that is connected to a Samsung OLED 55 inch QN90A monitor now initially I was getting a black screen after making those connections. I'll show you the back of the computer and the back of the TV. And now you're looking at the back of the computer. Uh, there's four HDMI ports on the back of this uh, NVIDIA RTX 2060 video card. It doesn't really matter. You can pretty much pick any port you want. Make sure you have the latest drivers installed and you should be good to go. Let's take a look at the back of the TV. Okay, so you can see I have the HDMI uh, port number three, which is eARC compatible, plugged in, and that's going to the back of the Denon. Okay, the next thing you want to do is grab your Denon remote and hit the setup button. And once you do, use the up and down arrows to scroll to video. Once you've done that, hit enter. Hit the down arrow until you get to HDMI setup. Now hit the enter button. And some of my displays may be a bit dimmed and that's because my settings are already on. So you can use the enter button to navigate back and forth once you're in a setting that's highlighted that you can change. So here's the rest of my setup and this should do it for you. So I have the pass through on, you definitely want that on. And I'm leaving it on last. It'll just recall the last session that I had with AMP on the pass-through. So you can leave that on last. That's fine. The RC source is enabled and it's set to on and source. Again, if you hit the enter button on your remote on any of these menu options, you can then navigate. Let me just show you on this one. I'm going to hit the enter button and see how the arrows line up. I can then move it back and forth. I'm going to hit enter again so I can maintain my existing setting. Okay, let's scroll down. This is really important. This is kind of what messed me up. Um, I only, Even though I only have one HDMI input enabled, I thought it wasn't necessary to turn this on since it's auto automatically supposed to default to the one cable that's plugged in. Now, that's not the case. So when you're at this menu, make sure control is on or you'll likely get a black screen. Going down the menu further, obviously you want ARC on. I, I would recommend getting the eARC cables. They run at 48 gigabit, and um, that's the fastest uh, you can get today. Uh, I got mine on Amazon. They were by Cable Matters. I got 10 footers, three of them for 20 bucks. So again, once you're at this menu here, make sure ARC is on. And I've shown you in the earlier part of this video where you want to do the connection to the HDMI eARC ports that has to be done on the back of this receiver or ABR and the TV. Scrolling down, I didn't really mess with any of this right here. I didn't have to. All works fine. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to hit uh, the back button on the Denon remote back out of the menu and we are good to go. I hope this video helps you. It, def it definitely solved uh, my screen issue with the Samsung 55-inch Q90A OLED monitor. Uh, so I'm back in business. And in fact, uh, the reason why I went with this setup is because I replaced this cable. I'll show you in a minute. This optical audio cable uh, was only giving me a maximum of 24-bit 96K. I found that uh, pretty frustrating. So I got rid of that and bought the two cable matters or three cable matters. You get three of them for the price of one or basically three in a bag. You get three together. So in the video earlier, I showed you the uh, orange and red cable. Here's the third one. Uh, and anyway, if you get those, uh, if you get those cables, that should cure your issue along with the setup that I just had explained. And in fact, now I'm getting the uh, 192K by 24-bit 
through the Denon receiver. Let me show you what that looks like through FUBAR. And in FUBAR, I have this set up and that became a new drop down menu choice. Sorry about the focusing issue. So now I've chosen the Wasapi Denon AVR. And now I'll show you uh, basically in Windows what the uh, sampling rates are using the HDMI cables that I had just mentioned earlier and this entire setup. Here's what that looks like. So in Windows, basically what you want to do is go to this uh, icon right here and right click, choose sounds. Okay, once you have this pop-up screen, go ahead and hit the playback button. And you'll see the Denon is in here. Sorry about the pulsating uh, rate there. That's the refresh rate on the monitor. So on your end, it should show up like this. You go ahead and click Properties. And when the Properties tab opens, click Supported Formats. And you can see both 16-bit and 24-bit are supported all the way from 32 kilohertz up to 192. And now I'll show you how this test works. So I'm going to go ahead and click Advanced. And you can see I have it set to 24-bit at 192, which is just superb sound quality. Hit the Test button and we should have some sound. Well, that concludes the video. I hope you found this helpful and that it cures your issues with your monitor and your AVR 2700H by Denon. Thank you.